Harvesting the Rain, a guide to installing a rain barrel, provides a basic demonstration for the installation of a specific rain barrel at a specific location and is for informational purposes only. This video is only to be used as a guide and is not intended to be an instructional or how-to program on how to install a rain barrel. When installing a rain barrel, there are many variables including the size, shape, and capacity of the rain barrel, the different types of base foundations, the location of the rain barrel, and the various methods used to safely secure the rain barrel to prevent injury, death, or damage to property. These variables make it impossible to give step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your rain barrel at your home in a proper and safe manner. The tools, materials, procedures, and steps you need to take to remain safe during the installation process will be different and is solely your responsibility. It is also your sole responsibility to properly secure your rain barrel. If you feel unsure about completing this project, and you would like a rain barrel to conserve our water resources, then hire a licensed, qualified contractor. The City of Los Angeles, its officers, contractors, employees, or persons acting on behalf of the city shall not be held responsible or liable for any bodily or other personal injury, damage, loss, or expenses incurred by persons engaged in activities related to the installation of a rain barrel or as a result of an installed rain barrel. As homeowners, we want to keep our lawns and gardens healthy and attractive. Yet, as residents of Southern California, living in a Mediterranean climate, we also recognize the importance of conserving water and protecting its quality. Rainwater harvesting helps us do both. By capturing rain, we reduce the amount of polluted runoff flowing into our local creeks, rivers, lakes, and ocean. By using the collected rainwater, we conserve potable water supplies, saving both a precious resource and money. Installing a rain barrel on your property will help you enjoy these benefits. And should you decide to take this next step, you'll become one of the growing numbers of Angelinos who are harvesting the rain. This program will show you a sample demonstration of a rain barrel installation. The actual installation that you do will be different and there are many factors that can change the way you do your installation. The style, size, and dimensions of the rain barrel have to work for you and your home. Two things to keep in mind when choosing your rain barrel are that you will want a barrel that keeps insects like mosquitoes and animals from accessing the captured rainwater. Also, you will want a barrel that keeps out or minimizes sunlight from the retained rainwater. This will reduce potential algae growth in your barrel. The rain barrel that you choose and the location where you decide to install the barrel will determine the tools and materials you will need for your installation. For example, a barrel that has a concrete base foundation will need less preparation than a barrel which has a soil base. Also, when choosing a location, it's best to find one that will not interfere with the walkways around your home. Giving this sample installation demonstration is Scott Mathers of Hey Tanks LA. Scott has installed more than a hundred rain barrels and dozens of large-scale rainwater capturing systems such as cisterns harvesting 150,000 gallons of rainwater. To do this installation demonstration, Scott will be using the following tools and materials. A 55-gallon rain barrel, safety goggles, proper work gloves, an electric drill, a Phillips driver bit, a tape measure, a marker, a level, a hacksaw, a shovel and or a rake, 3 8 inch screws for securing the gutter band, a garden hose, and silicon or gutter sealer. The tools that Scott will use to complete this rain barrel installation are readily available at local hardware stores. A listing of most of the items that you may need to install your rain barrel may be found at larainwaterharvesting.org. The materials that Scott will use to make this rain barrel's platform are 8 8 inch by 8 inch by 16 inch concrete cinder blocks, 4 12 inch by 12 inch concrete pavers, 
and two to three bags of three quarter inch gravel. To create the downspout connection assembly, Scott will be using two new 45 degree A-bend gutter downspout elbows and reusing a portion of the existing downspout. Just like the elbows in this demonstration, the elbows you buy should be compatible in size, shape, and made out of the same material as your existing downspout. Before beginning the installation, Scott makes sure that the selected downspout is in good working order. He does this by spraying water from a garden hose onto the home's roof to simulate rain. Most homes have rain gutters and downspouts, but at this specific home, there are just downspouts. Before preparing the site, which has gravel on top of a weed barrier that is on bare dirt, Scott puts on his safety glasses and work gloves. Then he removes vegetation from the location and rearranges the existing gravel to create a level area. Next, Scott decides how high this specific rain barrel needs to be so gravity can be used to transport the rainwater to the nearby garden. He starts building this platform's foundation with the use of four concrete cinder blocks, making a square. He works each block into the gravel, making sure each block is as level as he can get it. Scott then likes to fill in the holes of the blocks with three-quarter inch gravel. He does this to provide drainage and to help prevent a habitat for insects such as black widow spiders. Because this location needs more height, he adds four more concrete cinder blocks. Afterwards, he fills these cinder blocks with a three-quarter inch gravel. Scott completes the construction of this platform by placing four concrete pavers on top of the cinder blocks. Before moving forward with this rain barrel installation, he checks to see how much the pavers wiggle on the blocks. Since there is just a slight wiggle, Scott decides he won't need to use plastic shims. He then creates the diversion connector that will alter the path of the existing downspout. To make this connector, Scott uses two 45-degree A-bend gutter downspout elbows and reuses a portion of the existing downspout. He starts his connector by building it top to bottom. This allows him to slide the top piece into the bottom piece and prevents water from leaking out of the seams. When the connector is built, he holds it approximately three inches above the rain barrel screened opening to see where the top of the newly assembled downspout connection will meet the existing downspout. He double checks the positioning of the connector. He takes the discarded downspout and reuses a portion of it to make the extension he needs to complete his connector. He does this by measuring the length he needs and adding one and a quarter inches in the measurement before he cuts the discarded downspout. This extra one and a quarter inches will allow him to slide the extension piece into the connector, creating a watertight seal. He then uses the 3 8 inch screws to securely attach the extension to the elbows. The rain barrel's wide mouth overflow piping is designed to carry excess rainwater out of the barrel. For this specific site, the homeowner wanted the rain barrel overflow to be at the same spot as the original downspout. However, it is strongly recommended that you have your overflow directed away from your home to prevent damage to the foundation. Ideally, your overflow should be directed to grass, dirt, or another absorbent surface. Remember, depending on the rain barrel you choose, when it's full, it can weigh more than 400 pounds. This video does not demonstrate how to secure your rain barrel to keep it from tipping over due to a natural disaster or if it is bumped by a person or object. Properly securing it is essential and is your responsibility. Also, if the rain barrel you decide to use does not have a do not drink sticker affixed directly above the barrel spigot and you want a multilingual sticker, you can visit larainwaterharvesting.org to download sticker language. Lastly, as with any home improvement project, we recommend consulting the Los Angeles Department of Building and Safety regarding the appropriate permits that may be necessary. Hopefully this demonstration has been a helpful guide as you prepare to complete your rain barrel installation.
Harvesting the rain is just one way homeowners can do their part to conserve water and keep our creeks, rivers, lakes, and beaches clean. Please visit larainwaterharvesting.org for more rainwater harvesting tips. And on behalf of the City of Los Angeles, thanks for watching.